Hey guys, it's Jacob here with part 3 of Level in Obsidina. Uh, as you can see, I'm level 36. You could have seen in the last video the progression of the last chapter. It was chapter 2. We will be starting chapter 3. For a quick overview of the build, I'm using Icebound Beam, Freeze Charms added called Damage Control Spell, Compound Source with Auto Charge for bosses and Residues so it never stops. When you pop it, three transmission with periodic burst. You don't need quick mobility on here because uh, the free transmission gets reset every time you freeze anything. So uh, and Icebound Beam is freezing everything all the time, so you can just blink infinitely as long as you have monsters in range. Bloody steps for the parts when you don't have monsters in range and you need to run faster. This gives you 30% movement speed for 3 seconds and mana ball to just get some additional damage for basically free. For the aura of choice I'm choosing summon thunder spirit for cast speed but yeah there are not many that you could, you, you could use here. Like you can use frost spirit and don't care about your mana or life uh, or uh, don't care about your life energy shield but yeah let's try it the damage of the build is really high for now let's try it with this spirit so the damage with icebound beam is around 46k as you can see and I believe that uh, Icebound Beam does not scale from cast speed. You can check it here. If the damage stays pretty much the same, then yeah, Icebound scale from cast speed, and yeah, it is pretty much the same. So I will probably be using Frost Spirit just so I don't need to care about my life that much. Because I got these gloves that like convert 50% mana cost to life cost and I'm using mana ball so my mana ball is continuously uh, uh, consuming my life over time so yeah let's continue the story from now I hope my appearance Lacuma Desert I've never heard of it perhaps Catherine may know something you? Yeah, but you're... Da, 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 da. Line ships. Start in my buffs every it's time for the icebound target. beam to be able to, for it to be able to like auto target monsters you need to go to your settings, battle and set icebound beam to auto channel and auto aim and you need to start the channel yourself so I'm pressing spacebar every single time after I load into a map or interact with item you have to start your channeling every single time for example when I talk with this NPC the channeling stops so you have to start the channeling again but yeah that's the cost for it to auto target nearby monsters basically so yeah you have to do it deadly Later on, when I swap to Howling Gale, Howling Gale just auto targets enemies automatically. So, yeah. will not be the issue anymore. But for now, you have to start the channel yourself. Trying to follow this because I know that there's a side quest for this. I'm not sure if there was something. Yeah, this the side quest for this, and There's I no want to do it later on, There's so no I will There's do no it right thanks. now. Still hasn't responded to my singing. Uh, the rope can't out of it. 
Return to power supply, etc. There's no end. He described Jessamina as such a perfect person. Uh, That's it. Let's continue further. As you can see, the spirit is enough to keep me topped off on my life. Is the spark really in Ichi? The cables run all the way here. Let's follow them. And with this point, I'll be able to get tenacity and agility blessings when receiving focus blessings, so we will get even faster. Finishing the next level. Oh, you don't even need to finish the next level, we just got a skill point here. So, every agility blessing gives you 5% movement speed. <coughs> or, is there movement speed? Cast speed? Damage? Okay, no movement speed anymore. That is probably from some item that gives you movement speed per agility blessing. And Tenacity Blessing gives you like damage reduction, so you will be more tanky, basically. Listen carefully. This is my dirge for you. The okay, let's just go through the map as fast as possible. We don't need to do anything here. Hurry up and dismantle these desert lamps so that the Night Star's rebel army can't escape. I don't remember what to do here, so yeah. NPC here. Is there a side quest here? No. It's so dark and cold here. You can stay closer to me if you're afraid. Reset in the cooldown of frost of the frigid transmission by freezing monsters so you can just blink around and continue to this is stars the royal army may have set up a strange why is this And be handsomely rewarded. Defend this beacon. Oh, surging tide, sing with me. And since the beam does not scale from cast speed, you can even swap to the not to the human form and deal even more damage. We can check how much once we get back to the town. Since you refuse to change your ways, was that the spark? Oh, that's it. Very strong. But very dangerous. Why do you have a now oh, the side quest? be locked up at the northeast of the market. To you, rebels, only know how to hide. Highest thanks to you, as you can see. The outpost has suffered a heavy blow. Extended duration support will we put it on the uh, uh, we'll meet again very soon. Bloody steps. Flag will fall, and the night star will take back everything that dawn lights. If you see my mother. Level up the skills said, every now and then. Her river and go to the Ichi tribe. The spark is there. And continue. Points in three. No damage, energy shield, attack, speed, running skills, and max channel stacks. So that's what we are going for now. The tide 
it still hasn't responded to my singing. Just run through, use your healing skill when needed. My song will hit every card careful. We're in the Ichi's outpost now. I'm not letting a rat through. Go. Go warn King Lionheart. Right. We're finally here. This Ichi tribe is so hard to find. My power is resonating with the spark. We should be very close. Oh, surging tide, sing with me. <laughs> Maybe try. Ah, we're just a group of tribe. The tide still hasn't responded to my singing. Listen carefully. This is my dirge for you. And next row. Forty-four. What is our level now? Forty-two. So get the really nice experience here. I'm just not blinking through, I'm killing monsters actually, because I need to catch up with the levels. The tide still hasn't responded to my singing. Dissipate like bubbles. hasn't responded to my singing. You should have woken up from this dream a long time ago. <coughs> so what do we have here? Elemental damage per stack of agility blessing. Little blessing liberation. Agility blessing on defeat. It might be better than what I have. I'll just zoom through the items real quick. Let's save this. You can lock items if you save them for later. And <clears throat> these gloves might be better, but these gloves have plus one max charge. We'll see how that works. The tide still hasn't 
Because the plus one max charge gives me two charges or uh, there is a transmission which is really nice to have when you want to go around faster. There's a power supply center in the northeast corner and northwest corner. They are powering this barrier. Let's turn them off and we'll see what other tricks King Lionheart has up Don't forget sleeves. to click. Don't forget to click F uh, or interaction key My when you are running around these. Power supply centers are the last I'll have to run back again. I can finally meet clear it. Great King Lionheart. Thank you for... Is it? It's over. I'm wonderful. The tide still hasn't responded to my. Is is this the ruins of Lakuma? New talents, uh, you can either go for Arcanist or Warlock. With Arcanist you would gain like Frostbitten multipliers and uh, this Extreme Coldness. And the I couldn't address. I want it. <clears throat> and wait for luck. Who are getting plus two to all skill levels, plus three with the point here. And uh, either the tracks or of the beaten tracks. So yeah, I will be going with. Warlock, but not before I finish this. Actually, four plus one to cold <coughs> because Icebound Beam is a cold skill. Skill levels do a lot of uh, like do a huge difference when you are looking at skill damage. This do action not this. Take this and I want this into speed. Protection. Next. Protection for impact. Here, plus 10% movement speed. Just to get through the story a little bit faster. And. Yeah. It, the, the rest of the points does not really matter. Put the extended duration here. For the bloody steps. And we can even put like mass effect maybe. Yeah, let's 
Mass Effect in. Was the Belfort battle? Yeah, Mass Effect. Troy is here. Level up the skills. And continue with the quests. You can take all three quests from her here. Don't need to do them one by one. Who can be forever you? What lasts forever? Be careful. Since I used the mass effect for the bloody steps. Uh, what you want to make sure to do is that you do not <coughs> use uh, the bloody steps until it has maximum charges because it is fish plus uh, like 15% effect for the status provided by the skill per charge when you use the support skill. So when you have two charges on the skill it is plus 30% basically so you are getting like 40% movement speed. Is the first one. Even gold rise. This arrogant lady is getting on my Here nerves. you want to just How destroy these we smash up her offerings. <laughs> offerings, they call it. Now it is open. And you bring it back, own. that's it. Liv said that a hunter is their crow's sword, and a crow is their hunter's shield. Since then, I've been wondering... As you can see, the bloody steps already start giving like noticeable difference to the movement speed. The, the symbols of a sword and shield are on the pedals. What do they each represent? I've seen the strong and vigorous. They try their best. But what do they... Does a queen have to lose something to understand what is truly precious? The spark within me is telling me that the mysterious woman is just up ahead. This ancient city has been buried beneath the sand for millennia. Were these statues all once living people? One day behind when the thousands of years have passed, yet this soul still remains. This city seems to have been awakened. within the statues that have slumbered for thousands of years are so eager for battle glory is stripped it responded to my singing either remain victorious the almighty queen is watching you so stand out among the rest a new moon is rising mm. an admiral zoom in through the, the locations Vala still it's really fast the Still haven't responded to my singing. You wish to know the meaning of victory? To be the moon rotates to display its initial. Now the 
moon has dimmed, and you're one step closer to seeing its true ugliness. I wish to see you, but the dual crescents blind me. Let's go fight the champion. You're an adversary to look forward to, and your radiance is not much different from what mine used to be. Gerald of Nassau accepts your challenge as the full moon. Just avoid the lasers. Victor, tread the road of the sun. Challenge me at my pride. Of wind. Last one, turn on sticks. Actually, this might be better for clear for now, so I can jump more often to increase the beam length so it covers a large area. stars you must cast away your doubts cast away your fear and cast away your hope the tide still hasn't responded to my singing those who remain here are losers eliminated from the ring of the moon and so they've entrusted their fate to the stars Discontent of defeat burns within them, and it incinerates their minds and flesh. Only the bloody desire for slaughter remains. Benevolent Queen bestowed upon these losers the chance to start again, but they must fight for it with their lives. It 
was not my defeat that brought me here, nor did I lose my way in life. I willingly abandoned my noble family name and assumed one that is unclean, just to offer up a flop someone has to lose. But not me. Not today. All glorious winners and desperate losers have fallen before me. Victor, tread the road of the sun. Challenge me at my prime. What's this? Challenger, you've performed well in the Ring of the Stars and Moon, defeating past versions of me twice. Now, the Lunar Ring was to do not. I agree. Everyone has someone they want to protect, and that is admirable. Even if that someone is that arrogant queen. Now the final battle with champion of life, of light. So it's twenty five percent additional damage with uh, um, against enemies with elemental element. So that's twenty five percent additional damage. This is only twenty, and this for now is also only twenty because I have only five focus blessings. So, so this gives me the most for now. And take in the warlock. Scorching gold will judge your loyalty to the queen. Even if you do not look up to the sun, you still can't escape its radiance. Purity, accept your challenge as you've won. Go meet the queen. No one can resist her. I'm not the first, and I won't be the last. Oh fuck! I got in too early. We need to wait until all the gold dissipates. You know, the will to protect someone it has nothing to do with strength. I 
think Don't let that beam touch you. That statue looks rigged up. Still haven't responded to my singing. Monsters have appeared. In the pool corrupted by the sun. The golden water has been sullied by rust. Oh. Such a gorgeous body. I love it. The greater its beauty, the more it should be cherished, no? Beneath the tide. Oh, subjects of mine, offer up your bodies and fight for me. Lakuma's sun has risen again. Come, let me see how long you can fight to win my grace. responded to my singing. You wish for power. Come beg. Are you frozen like a statue by my... What? It was a stream a long time ago. Your girl is waiting for... The tide still hasn't responded to my singing. Now we are approaching the last uh, treasure trove. Dissipate like bubbles. Okay, and the last trove. The trove is level 54. I've also paused the video and prepared some other things around just to make it a little bit shorter. Um, for the last trove, you can get easy experience. I will make another video for that. But I've made a packed spirit tab with experience gained. And for example, like when, when you feel weak. Like, this character does not feel weak uh, at all. But if you feel weak with your characters, you can stay in this trove and up to... Uh, and uh, level up to, like, even level 18, 90. Sink beneath up to you. I will make a separate video for that. For this run, I will do it so once or twice, maybe. I will do it once, just to finish the... Uh, campaign and then I will make a separate video for guide for leveling on this trove pretty much so stay tuned for that if you're interested but we are pretty much approaching the end of the story because after the trove you just finish two more bosses and the story is done but as you can see I'm leveling pretty fast uh, the AoE uh, might be better here, uh, like AoE skill, instead of this beam using the uh, Howling Elm might be better, have to, we'll have to test it, but still leveling pretty fast, already level 55, I've entered level 53 I believe. So last row, last loot for this campaign. What did we drop? Beacon. 
cannot use this at all or like beacon does nothing for our uh, build. It would be good if you were playing like the Frost Nova or the Ring of Ice. Then you can use Spellburst with that build to increase your damage a lot. And yeah, so that's this trove. Now co let's continue and finish the quest, uh, finish the storyline pretty much. We're almost done here. What kind of kingdom can remain eternal? But three new talent points for finishing the trove. That's also another thing you should keep. Why you should do the troves? You're getting three passive skills for completing them. Also, open the second uh, slot for aura. Let's use elemental amplification. Alright, the game the damage is really high in this build. I I've also made a the radiance of the sun. made a pack spirit up for damage as well. Check it right here. Those are my spell pack spirits pretty much or elemental pack spirits which give me elemental penetration, elemental damage. Comes to do double damage a little bit. Yeah. You can make a tap for damage, basically, for to swap to when doing bosses. Uh, you can also put those pack spirits or hot on hotkeys. So, uh, as you can see here, I have one, two, three, four pack spirit taps prepared. You can put them on hotkeys. I have them on F1 to F8, I believe. You can have like eight resets. If you buy the butt pass, <coughs> so yeah, current version is outdated. I have to restart the game. Yes, right. Yeah, okay. Let's pause the video. We'll continue after I restart. Okay, I'm back at the spot where we ended. So this is the final boss. Do you feel it? The terror, the powerlessness, and the despair. The oh, son, rust away! What happens if I don't move? Nothing. Which melted the golden sun, and Lakuma was frozen eternally at that moment. The struggle of mortals is laughable before the great creation. But your willpower is truly surprising. Your heroic death in battle is worthy of the new god's eyes. I don't know if it is the spirit that is regenerating so much life for me. I also am using the healing skill, the but still. Of a new God. Okay, that's the last boss done. Let's review the state of the build. Level fifty-five. Can insert memories now, but won't do, won't do that. And yeah, I believe I that that's the end of the story. Oh yeah, here for some new gear. Oh, you wanna buy me? Yeah, they're going to 
talk with the map device here. Yeah. So that's the end of the story. Leveling up with the uh, icebound beam, really smooth. Um, spell skills, icebound beam, freeze chance, added cold damage control spell, compound source with auto charge, with residues to keep it up even when on full life, rigid transmission with periodic bursts, or cast speed, blurry steps, extended duration and mass effect, make sure you cast blurry steps when you have full charges, to increase its effect by 32% and mana ball to for some extra additional damage. For the first passive skill I've been using summon first spirit because it gives you like passive uh, health regeneration and uh, when I opened aura I just slotted in uh, elemental amplification <coughs> for even more damage. For passive trees, goddess of the goddess of knowledge, I'm preparing the passive tree to for swap to the howling gale. So it is elementalist for some channel skill boosting for uh, the icebound beam. Uh, you want to go to this route to increase the beam length because that helps you a lot with resetting the cooldown on your uh, frigid transmission by freezing monsters with your laser. For Howling Gale you will go the upper side because Machine Link stacks increase damage of Howling Gale basically. And for the last three for now I'm choosing Warlock because that will help me to get to the level 30 uh, breakpoint on main skill basically. So it is plus two skills here and plus one more here. Once I'm able to get to level 30, I might be going to swap this for Arcanist, I believe. Yeah, for either Arcanist <coughs> or uh, uh, the other one, uh, Magister. But yeah. As the state of the build, let's check the damage on level 85 uh, dummy. Um, around 300k while moving. And if I sub up to the other stance, that would be this. Uh, damage is same, I don't know what the stances do then. Yeah, the other stance is probably for the normal spells, not channeling ones. So yeah, that's it for this build. And I will start mapping, I will start progressing the maps. And I will update you with videos on Time Mark 7 farming, Time Mark 8 farming. And we will progress this build to its like almost maximum potential. Not sure how much time will I have to play this game but yeah <clears throat> I will try to push this build really far with, Howl with Howling Gale I think that sk the skill will have better potential than Icebound Beam but we, have we will see okay thank you guys for watching I will see you in the next update bye